hello, hello, dear people, hello, lovely people. Jay Green was you and Green my life. Namaste. Uh, today's video I want to record for you a uh, subject to talk about love. Yes, love. Love is love. It's not something new about love but is it is something new in the meaning of the love and i want to start with this topic from question i want to ask you so you will ask yourself <clears throat> what does it mean love for you what word love really means for you when you say to someone you love you're saying honey i love you what do you mean by that you're saying honey i love you i love you from the bottom of my heart what that really means for you usually what does it mean that's i want you to be with me and just follow my thoughts maybe you have different one and i would love to hear from you from the beginning what you meant when you say to someone you love you're saying honey I, I love you what do you mean by that All right. and usually people saying what when, when, when you just look inside of yourself in order for you to say to your wife let's say right to your lovely wife to say honey I love you I uh, usually what do you need what should you be in state? What your state should be to say that? It's usually when, let's say, your wife cooks something for you. She did something good for you. She looks good. She's singing good. Or she, she's saying to you some nice words, right? Then we're saying, hey, honey, honey, thank you, I love you. Honey, thank you, I love you. Thank you for cooking. I love you. Thank you for having a good time today. I love you. And I want you to ask yourself, when you're saying this, honey, I love you, in which state of emotions and state of mind you are at that moment? That's a good question. Simple question, right? Let's think about it. You're saying, okay. Just imagine you have you you talk say it to your wife, all right? If you didn't say it today, say again now. Honey, I love you. What does it mean for you? What do you mean by when you're saying this at that very moment? Honey, I love you. That means usually that means for most of the people. I hope you are some diff you're a different one, and I hope you will be different in the end of this video while we talk about that and the, the, the purpose of this video to for you to I want you to become more conscious about about the love about the meaning of the love word love because we're using that so much so often but very often we just don't really put the proper meaning of it and the love is the greatest word and its greatest energy it's the greatest meaning of it which all of us should be fulfilled with and share with others right then that's really you mean your love but we are usually we say in the I love you the trigger for you to say I love you in most cases when you get something from someone you love from some person from person right you get from your mom, from your brother, from your wife, from your husband, and so on. So you get something, you say, hey, I love you. That means you got something from that person and your feelings change, right? You start to feel yourself happy, so your hormones get to your body, you see your beautiful wife, she looks great, okay, she, she wear nice clothes uh, and you're saying honey I love you hey beauty I love you hey that's that's you signifying you're saying that you're signaling hey I I, I get happy I'm happy now 
I'm happy now because I look at so how gorgeous you are. I got something from you, emotionally or physically, and you changed my state of mind. And I am just stating, honey, I feel myself so great. And this statement of greatness, my feelings, I call it, I love you. <laughs> You make me happy, you make me smile, you put in my body, in my mind, hormones, and I'm saying, I feel so excited and saying, honey, thank you, I love you, thank you for giving me that feelings, great feelings, which I call love, and I say, I love you, right, I love you, but in this case, what that means, think about it, yeah, right, so, my someone give it to you something and you you're saying you're, you're stating i in state of love i'm happy i love you all right and that means you are you're in a state of now in this case your the word love means for you is it's a noun yeah, love. It's a it's a conditions. It's a conditions. You can add the adjective, which can say, I say, I'm really so much in love with you. Oh, it's such a beautiful love. It's a great love. It's amazing love I have at the moment. So we can add to your noun adjective to make it more stronger. Right? But in my understanding, the real meaning of the love should be verb. Verb, exactly. Not the noun, not the noun with adjective, but the verb. Why? Because love is something that we should give to someone, to others. And when we give to others, we say, hey, I give you my love to you. Because my love for you is my service. It's my help. It's something I make for you. And this makes you happy. And when you are happy, it makes happy me. So to, to, to get something from you to make myself happy, I should do something for you. I should do something for you really nice, which you will enjoy. You will smile, you will be happy, you will eat some good, good food, or I bring you to, 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 what's it, to Disney World, wherever, to the movie, or whatever I did for you, and it makes you happy. That's really, I share my love with you. I give you my love. I did something for you to make you happy and when you are happy then we are all happy and this is I can in this situation I can say honey I give you my love I give you my love to you and that means I love you I love you because I give you first I'm not saying I love you because you give me something Honey, thank you. <laughs> I love you. Oh, you cook today is nice dinner. I thank you so much. I love you so much. I love you because you did something for me. You see that difference? I say I love you when you did something for me, but should be vice versa. I should say I give it to you. I do something for you because I love you. I say I love you, and I'm doing something for you. Honey, take my love. This is my love for you. I love you. Take my heart. This is my love. Catch it. I give it to you. And that means I really love you. Not vice versa. When you give it to me and I say, Hey, now I love you. <laughs> <laughs>
This is not that love we want to have, because the real love is when you give it to someone, when you give it to someone. This is real love. This is our biggest goal we should have, to develop in ourselves the state of mind, the state of feelings. So you want to make someone happy. You want to serve to someone. You want to give what you have to make that person happy. That's real conditions. That is a real state of love we are giving. And in that state, of mind and process, you can say, hey, now I can say, I love you, honey, I love you, because I want to serve you, and because I love you, I want to serve you, I want to give something for you, I want to do something good for you, which will make you smile, makes you happy, that's my real intention, to give you love. So, in other words, we are giving the love. To get the love, you have to give the love. And not like how it happens usually today. You say, you get something, then you say, hey, I love you. That's, that's a not proper way to do it. It means you compare the same situation when you talk to the God. To the Lord, and you say, hey, Lord, I love you. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. You, you, you go to the, to the temple and you say, Lord, I love you. What does it mean for you? What do you mean when you say, Lord, I love you? What that means? And really a spiritual person who is living with, the, with the God inside of his heart, inside of every day, every minute, when he's saying, Lord, I love you, he means that, Lord, I want to do something for you to make you happy. In my behavior, in my thoughts, in my serving to you, when I do that, as I'm saying, I mean, I love you, Lord. Please take my service. I love you so much and I want to serve you. That's real meaning of the love, how I see that. And in this case, love would be not the noun, and not the noun with adjective, that would be a verb. I love you, Lord. I love you, my dear. I love you, my dear wife. I love you, my dear mama, my daddy, or my, my daughter. I love you. And when I'm saying that, I mean, I want to do something for you. I'm doing for you something right now. Or I have an intention to do that for you. I want to serve you. I want to make you happy. And this is real meaning of the love. This is what I, I'm try I wanted to say, you guys, to share my thoughts today about the love. Uh, that's today talking with my clients I got inspired with this I get thoughts when we talk about love and, and, and I seen that most of us really had missed meaning of the love because we used to say the love in exchange of someone give it to us my wife give me something and I say to her, hey, honey I love you but this is not the real meaning of the love we should have in our head, heart and I want you to, to feel this, to feel this, that real meaning of the love. Just change your mind or be more conscious about it. That real meaning of the love should be when I say, uh, when I'm saying, honey, I love you, it means I'm just bringing something to you. I give you my gift. I give you my service. I, 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 I'm ready to do something for you. I'm ready to do something for you. That means I'm saying, now I will love you. And I am love you. And when we, when we make a transformation in our mind, that love means not when, not when I receive something from 
as a person. And at the law means when I give it to someone. I give it to someone and see his happiness. That makes me smile. That makes me feel in love. Then they can say, then they can say, I love you. Eh? you give it to, to your loved one. Give service, give some good things. And you see a happy person, happy, his happy face, his uh, happy heart. And then you say, you can say, honey, I love you. Because I see how happy you are. And I make you happy. I serve to you. I gave you my love. I give you my love, I see you fulfill me as my love. That's how I love you, real. That's how I really love you. And then you can, your, your loved one can give love to you back, but you should not expect back. That's called unconditional love. We call that unconditional love. And this is other things we need to add to the real meaning of the love. When you give it to someone, we should not expect back. It's like when you go outside to the park and you want to feed the bird, feed the birds. Right? The birds is eat it, and then they fly away. You didn't say you didn't. They didn't say you thank you. What would you? Would you be cry? Would you be saying that hey? You really, that you really didn't love you? <laughs> Would you say that? Hey, bird don't love you. They didn't say you thank you. <laughs> because I didn't love, I didn't say you anything. You're doing this unconditionally. This is what it means. When you say, I love birds, that means you did something for them unconditionally. You make them, you give them the food, you're taking care of them. And you see them happy. They didn't say you anything back, but you and you don't even need it. But you are happy. That's make you be in a state of love. You love them because you see them happy. You make them happy. You help them, and you serve them. This is how you get yourself into statement love. Hey, I'm in a state of love now. I love, I, I feel love. And why I feel the love? <laughs> because I give it to birds. I give them my service. And now my, my heart fulfill with the love. Then you can say you really love birds. Or you are in a state of love because you did something for others. And this is what I want to say to you, my dear friends, uh, happy people. This is what I want to share with you about the love. I hope this, this video, this my, my topic, helps you to become more conscious about it. I know you know this, nothing new I said. I just share my my conscience about it because I, I never really think so deep about this before I, I I had to think about it more deeper and now I share my thoughts with you and during even talk while I record this video I expand my meaning of that love I expand my meaning of the love because I say it out loud and I hear this, it's the process of changing in my mind, in my heart. Started from very that moment once I say that out loud. So I'm asking you to share your thoughts about real meaning of the love. So more people will really be conscious and know what the love is. What the love is. Love is verb. It's not the noun. Love is a verb. It's not the noun. That means we have to do something to be in love and give love to someone. Namaste.